<clears throat> I begin today's video with a public service announcement. Headphone users beware, this one could get a little bit squeaky. Good luck! Hello, welcome to the vlog. I am a self-taught adult, beginner, recorder player, and I am trying to navigate my way through Trinity College London's digital graded exams for the recorder. So, why could today's video get squeaky? Well, it's because I'm going to be practising my second of three pieces of music that I've chosen for my grade one exam, and I'm not very good at playing it. The piece I have chosen is the snappily titled First March for the Rustic Wedding. It is in Trinity's Recorder Anthology 1 and I chose it for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I saw this thing hovering above the piece of music and I didn't know what it meant. So I consulted my theory book. And it turns out it's a thing called a swing rhythm. In First March for the Rustic Wedding, there are some sets of these quavers, and usually when you play them, you would give each quaver an equal time value. But for a swing rhythm, you work in the pattern long, short, long, short. I've taken to calling it the Humpty Dumpty rhythm because I found that when I was starting, it was helpful for me to chant Humpty Dumpty, Humpty Dumpty to help me get the rhythm. And the second reason I chose it, and this is where the squeaky bit comes in, is because of this. That is an A in the second octave. I've never had to play a note that high on the soprano recorder before and there has been a lot of screeching and scraping during practice time this week. And now it's time for you to hear some of it too. The tempo for this piece is 120 beats per minute. I started practicing it at about 70 beats per minute and every time I played it through correctly I would add one more beat per minute. This seems to be a good way to get the piece under your fingers. Currently, the fastest I've played this is 110 beats per minute, but just for your lucky old ears today, I'm going to try it for the first time at 120 beats per minute. It can only go well. I didn't squeak that top A after all, but I squeaked a couple of the others which really shouldn't have been a problem. Well, I think I need to go and give this one a bit more practice. There are some issues to be dealt with. I think I'm holding on to the dotted crotchets for a bit too long. I just can't let go. If for some reason you have enjoyed this video, then please do hit the subscribe button. I will be back in a few days talking about the third piece that I've chosen for my grade one exam and if you subscribe then you won't miss it. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed the video and I will see you again next time. Bye!